Good evening, everyone, and please forgive me for being late. Um, it's important that we take on the initiative to uh, develop strategies and push strategies and that will move the city towards a more sustainable Oakland. Uh, as a member of the Peralta Community College, we have been moving uh, forward with the multi-year um, strategy towards moving Peralta towards a, being a more uh, responsible and sustainable school site with all of our four colleges. And we see the benefits of it. We see the uh, investment and, and savings. We see the dividends and uh, social responsibility. And it's just important that we not only model, but we teach uh, everyone on how to sustain our earth for generations to come. Now what this does is to, it creates jobs. And for Peralta, we've created a department, we're creating a department actually, uh, that will open the door to more jobs. So not only being responsible uh, as residents of Oakland, we can also model uh, what it looks like to be a more sustainable city. Uh, and uh, Mr. Harlan also spoke about, I'm sorry, Mr. Harlan also spoke about the uh, initiatives of other cities and, and losing the opportunities. We have to be open and realize that this is a future uh, industry that if we don't grab hold of it, we're gonna lose thousands of dollars and we will lose thousands of jobs. So I would be a support, very supportive of moving these initiatives forward, forward and being a more green city, more sustainable and more responsible. And that's what we have to do is to ensure uh, that we are grabbing hold of these uh, opportunities as we did with Peralta Community Colleges and we're reaping benefits uh, of it. Uh, at Merritt College, we're also uh, doing solar panels at our college and uh, people are excited. They learn more if they don't know about it and uh, are very accepting of it. And so it's just another industry that's on the move and we have to grab hold of the opportunities that we have uh, today. Now this is a question that really brings back a lot of memories for me because as a young child, my grandfather, uh, my grandparents lived on an uh, acre in the Oakland, Oakland Hills, and uh, he grew a garden. And we had mustard greens, uh, tomatoes, and grapes, although the grapes didn't do too great because of the climate here. But I just grew up uh, being able to go out of uh, my grandparents' backyard and uh, you know, pick what my grandmother needed. And the way that we need to, and, and that was important to me, and that, those are some tr traditions that I carry on today. Uh, and for the city of Oakland, I believe that's important that we not only partner with our schools to develop these kind of programs. Uh, at Claremont Middle School, where I work, uh, we also had gardens where kids uh, learn how to grow their own gardens. And then they take these tools uh, home to their parents and, and teach them. And so it's a collaborative effort that we have to do with not only our community colleges, we have a great horticultural uh, program at Merritt College, uh, at, like I said, at Claremont Middle School and other uh, elementary schools and middle schools, high schools as well. Uh, there are programs that teach young people uh, how to grow their own gardens and the benefit of it. And I just believe that if we partner with local churches and other communities to teach them about the value of this, uh, we will push a tradition that others will carry on for generations and generations. And again, I, like I said, these are great memories that I had going out into the field with my grandparents and towing or driving the little, the little truck, whatever that was, that uh, you know, tilled the land, and just really learning about the earth and the, the vitalness of, uh, of producing your own uh, fruits and goods. So, thank you. Um, it's important that the city aggressively push for policies that will help to sustain our earth. Uh, as a Peralta Community College trustee, we have, uh, over the last few years, pushed policies that help to sustain uh, our colleges and also reduces our footprint uh, on the city and the earth. Uh, so that's what we have to do is to ensure that we're pushing these policies and that they're also um, being enforced we have to plan to also put in place measurements as well. Uh, we developed a strategic plan, we went back over uh, a, a, a few weeks of uh, workshops to develop our mission statement. And with that, we also incorporated being a greener college. And so the city has to move towards that as well. It's moving towards implementing uh, a po policies in your mission statement and towards being a more uh, responsible city. 
and ensuring that we're in, in, enforcing our policies. Uh, there's another example I wanted to give you, uh, but I made some notes here. Uh, the city also has to push towards being, um, uh, wanting to bring in more great, uh, greener jobs, sustainable jobs. We also have to establish an industrial land policy that protects our land and our water. Um, we also have to align ourselves with patterns that reduce consumption, uh, energy consumption, as well as uh, the way that we produce. Uh, with Peralta Community Colleges, we ensure that our facilities uh, department uh, is a more smarter, uh, sustainable department in the way that we, we purchase items, uh, the way that we uh, purchase light fixtures, fixtures, et cetera. So we have to really aggressively push for these policies and make sure that we're enforcing them as well. It's important to look at the way that the board historically have uh, uh, entered into contracts. And so much of that is, is a concern. And so we have to make sure that future contracts that we enter into are supportive of truckers, independent truckers, and um, those who are engaged with uh, doing business with the port. Um, as Harlan, uh, Mr. Harlan spoke, uh, the port definitely needs uh, a vision and it needs um, some structural stability in the way that it does business. Because if we don't move forward, uh, of course we can look at a dying port uh, for the next approximately five years or so when they begin releasing those ships. Um, now, in my experience with contracts, it's difficult to challenge contracts. And so I don't believe that many of the leaders over the last few years have engaged in, um, engaged in this kind of fodder where uh, low-income truckers or people who are trying to make, um, pay their rent or, or feed their families uh, have gone into agreements that impact uh, low-income truckers. And so we have to look at the culture. Uh, we have to look at how we can sincerely change the way that the port does business so that it doesn't impact um, those who are just trying to make you know a check to uh, you know income to pay their uh, month month to month bills, so that's important. And again, we have to look at the way we do business. We only have one first stop, um, and years ago, decades ago, we had more than uh, enough stops uh, of businesses coming into the port, and we're losing business left and right. And we really have to look at how do we develop a new vision for the Port of Oakland so that we can sustain it for the future. Well, again, thank you for this open door and the discussion on being a greener city. Um, for me, it's important to, as mayor, to shape policies that are centered around uh, moving Oakland towards a greener city. And that means reducing energy, and reducing our consumption. It's also important that the mayor has a vision and is willing to drive that vision through setting policies and also enforcing those policies. It's not good enough to have a policy on the book that you aren't willing to enforce because of political uh, gains or uh, backlog. So as your mayor, I would enforce the policies that I believe in and being a more sustainable city is one of my priorities. Um, I'm finishing up a PhD program in organizational psychology and system-wide change, and so I understand how to change a system, an organization. And one of the tools that uh, we've learned in my program is that we should be uh, sustainable uh, consultants so that when we enter, in, enter into an organization, we bring our belief that we can change an organization and it can also be sustainable. It can be friendly to the environment and it can also be protective of the environment. And so these are ways that we have to, and that we are going to ensure that Oakland is a greener city. Uh, and not only that, it's a model city. Uh, they already have 
a uh, program now where they've signed with the state of being a model city. And so they're pushing forward uh, these kind of policies. We just need someone who's going to enforce it. And I am your enforcer. Thank you.